Can you really hide money offshore? One thing I hear people talking about is the potential of taking money offshore and hiding it. This is a highly dangerous strategy, uh, and it may be something that's impractical. There may be some layers of asset protection you can get from a properly in in implemented international cash management strategy. It may make sense to take your money out of the U.S. or your home market and put it other places. But even here in the U.S., those foreign deposits are generally going to get picked up in tax reporting at the end of the year. You're going to have to report the existence of these accounts. So it's going to be impossible to just move the money offshore and then try to hope that everybody forgets about it. So that idea is not there. But there are strategies to create anonymity around your asset holdings, both domestically in the U.S. and internationally, to potentially put assets into businesses and other structures internationally to layer asset protection, right? As you get into more and more complex asset protection situations, if you have significant assets, you might be looking at using some of these international strategies uh, to prevent people from getting to your assets uh, in the event of a worst case scenario, make it more difficult for a judgment creditor potentially to attach your money. So there is a time and a place for it. But a lot of people think it's as simple as just transferring the money outside the U.S. or outside of a country and hoping that nobody ever finds it. That is probably gone. That is the days of the past. There's a lot of inter-reporting among the countries. And, of course, you're going to have to then potentially falsify tax forms to carry this out, right, which is something that you know is, is very risky and obviously not something you want to get engaged in is actually trying to hide your assets by filing false tax forms. So you want to make sure you keep on the up and up, but a good planner can help you plan how to do the things you want to do to protect your assets within the rules of the game. So that's what I recommend. Find somebody who's licensed in your jurisdiction, who understands business, who understands asset protection that can work with you to kind of structure things in a way that is legally compliant, but then also understanding what your reporting obligations are and how they interplay with your overall strategy. If you have general questions about business, business law, feel free to drop them below. But remember, the YouTube comments are not confidential, so don't place anything in there uh, that you want other, want other people seeing. Look forward to seeing you in those comments. And make sure you subscribe to the channel because we'll have more tips coming up for you very soon.